Hello everybody, Toasty Toad here, and welcome back to another scary game. We are back with Fierce Phantom. This is Norwood Hitchhike, which is the second episode of the game, or the series, sorry. Um, it's gonna take about, it says it's like 40 minutes, but if you're bad at the game, it's probably gonna take longer, so yeah, let's go! I'm sure I'm gonna be shitting my pants. Um, I don't do good with scary games. I play a lot of scary games. And what does it get me? Nightmares. Fierce to Phantom, Episode 2. Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. Mm. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I'd get the chance to. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled with the idea of me going on the interstate drives, on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. The convention I went, I was at, went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. I was a little, it was a little over 12-hour drive. Oh. Na 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 na, Batman. I'd never go through the forest, lol. Riddle me this, Batman. Can I? Eep! Oh, why'd I do that? How do I? How do I check? Is it? Yeah. Uh, how do I check my messages? Uh. Ah! Oh. Okay. I figured it out, guys. Let's start with the uh, Aiden Discord. We got Ticks So. I'll see if I can get the car. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Yo. Skateboard. Sound fun. Discord. Almost there. I'm with a toys. Stuck in the biggest traffic jam. That sucks. Okay. Cold, yeah. The five day. Woohoo, Aiden. Nice guy. Drive by yourself. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Hey. Drive safe. Don't forget to call me. Drive safe. Still about six out. I'm trying to listen to my music in the aesthetical forest, you bastard. Go around me. I don't care if it's a curve and it's a double line. You better just go around me. Halfway through, I was on low on gas. Well, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. If there's one thing I am never low on, it's gas. Because I'm terrified of running out of gas. But my car has a very, very big tank, so it doesn't matter. I'm not running out of gas. It don't happen.
I'm very paranoid about being low on gas. And frankly, I never let my gas go below uh, okay, well, vision, okay. Well, okay. okay, I just ran into the gas pump. Uh, nice. I never let my gas go below half because I'm genuinely terrified. Like, okay, ma'am. Ah, uh, can I get ten dollars on pump two? No way. I mean, not a lot of people head down this there this time of year be careful what do you mean for about a century now many people be going missing down there and people who went looking for them never return locals say the norwood valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on breeze ah ah what do you need, Holly? Mom. Meow. What? No. Big mistake. You know what? Fuck you. And one more thing. If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Some people say that she died in a car accident. Uh, okay, okay. Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstance pick up a hitchhiker. These people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Thanks. Yeah. Ooh. Motherfucker, what? Mm, da da da. Dog food. Oh. Dog food. Okay, dog food. I read that right. Dude, I'm a speed reader. I read that in a glimpse of an eye. <laughs> That'll be five dollars. Ma'am. Because I know in my heart of hearts, this woman is not carrying a gun. She is not protecting herself in the hitchhikers. How do I? Oh, it's G. Yo! Woo! No, I need to get gas. Do I actually have to pump gas? Oh, I gotta go to pump two. Oh, 
This car has the turning radius of a Jeep. Maybe this this car has the turning radius of a fucking Hummer. Or maybe this uh, is just a very old fucking car. I get the gas. I get the gas. Okay, let's go. Logo. God. There's no power steering or something? What in the hell? Being on a road, you realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Mom, I can't look at your text message right now. Did my lights go off? Oh. This Batman. Bitch, your car got sabotaged. I know you saw that motherfucker walking away from your car. Selection going. Bang, I'm an expert fucking driver. Very aesthetical. Too bad I'm gonna die. Mm-hmm. This must be like in a place that has hills or mountains or whatever. Mm. thing about that night. I thought I could drive past but the log wouldn't budge. 
I wouldn't start back up. Number one, why did you turn it off when you got out? And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying I was starting to believe whatever the bullcrap that gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I didn't feel the slightest of any peace. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at the moment I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. like that. Yeah, you're getting killed. Hey, the girl from the gas station. What are you trying to do out there? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You can get a ride. Nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks. Can I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Whoa, Mola! You should have parked closer. Oh my God. Stuck on the car. 
that it. Whoop de fucking do. Let's get the fuck out of here. I wonder. Uh, I didn't read what year this was. I don't know if it said it. So, you won't tell me who you are, or where you're going? I was driving home, and that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason? What? My name's Jason. I'm Holly. I mean, if you're already gonna be in the car, you might as well give me your name. Cause you're either going to be dead because you were stupid enough you're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight I must say you are one brave young woman how's that you got any clue what happened to your car back there uh, I don't know it never broke down on me like that before my dad's, it's pretty old. Girl, you need to be carrying some form of self defense. So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? It really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Okay. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Okay. Girl, you better pull a pistol out your ass or something, because you is too vulnerable for the shit, my woman. You got in the car with a stranger. You traveled 12 hours. Okay. After a little bit of small talk, you dropped me off by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kind of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Mm. Okay. Not a proof for, uh, for uh, occupancy. Hey, okay. This man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Gal, need a room to shack up for the night? $40 for a single. Okay, well. Room number nine, right over there. $90, Tom will take care of it next thing in the morning. good I'll let Tommy know and one last thing try not to wake the other guests they might not take very nicely to it 
Okay, then. Uh, do I need to bring this with me? Okay. Where is room number nine? I wonder if it starts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No service. It's nice and warm inside. If there's a spell, a type of musty smell you get from old houses. And there's stuff there. Go talk to the guy. You have a great night's sleep. Right over there, room number nine it is. Okay, motherfucker. Do I need my stuff? Okay, what the fuck is going on here? Where you're gonna sleep standing up on the wood? <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, you scared. He Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service. What are you doing in there? You know? Cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. Hey, I'm just gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Hmm. Fuck you, goofy ass motherfucker named Tommy. Tommy's gonna get fucked up. We need to learn how to box or do jujitsu or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is gonna piss me off. Just put the fucking hat on your head. You don't need to use a fucking hand. <sighs> Out of word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It is safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working if need anything just ask at the front desk we've been trying to get it fixed but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately you have a good night Tommy I will punch you in your goofy ass looking fucking face you ugly ass motherfucker I should smack the shit out of you with the skateboard. Yeah, you go get my car, you goofy ass Tommy. Tommy gonna get smacked. I don't trust a motherfucker named Tom. I'm so tired. Ugh. I'm so tired. Let me go to bed in my creepy ass motel room. I just wouldn't sleep. Honest God. There's 
There's no sink. Oh, th this is the sink. <laughs> is so loud. Call of foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a motor bullet. Coffee, bitch. Would it be up front? This is coffee. This does, but yeah, uh, yeah, chocolate and soda and coffee, and then you shit your pants like explosive diary right after. There was not a coffee thingy inside. So I'm guessing it's another vending machine. And everybody else got curtains and I got blinds. Okay. Yeah, I trust Creepy Motel Outdoor Espresso. Bitch, you're fucking stupid. I'm getting back. Is that breathing? Oh my god, the controls are reversed, but I'm so good at this game. That's how it feels when you consume a whole thing of Tito's on your own, or that is exactly how it feels when you have four margaritas. Three eighteen AM I was sedated. Well, you're not very bright.
There's someone in there. Nope. Nope. Nope, let's lay back down. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all that goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that... Why are your eyes all red? Are you messing with me? We don't have a coffee machine. Okay, okay. I've had enough of your crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I've... I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Yeah. I hate your job too. Honest to God though, if you run a motel or work in a motel, y'all probably have some really good stories. So if you work in a motel and you're watching this, uh, mention a crazy story. Man, you walk slow as fuck, and I'm drugged. Y'all should... Okay, well, fuck you too. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Is it Narcan? Narcan? It's Narcan, not Narcant. Isn't that what it is? The stuff that helps you not be drugged? Not die? Mm. Okay. I just drank sink water and used random pills at a motel. So, is the closet empty? Should I go back to bed? Was that a camera? camera I didn't mean for this to happen. I don't think the microphone thing is working either. It did it does not detect my microphone. I didn't mean for this to happen. What would have happened if I just went back to the bed?
is it just gonna keep saying hello until I do something? Hello? Fuck this guy. Some goofy ass. He's just gonna keep knocking. I just need to talk to you, I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get the police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe the town could have been home to a cult or drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. I'll talk after the credits are over. Okay. I I liked episode 2. That is actually genuinely terrifying. Um that's a situation I know personally that I I don't know if I'd make the right moves in. I'd probably end up dead, but those kind of situations like real life stories that happen to people are terrifying because it could happen to you. I mean, I personally would never go on a road trip that long by myself. Um and you know almost run out of gas uh just me personally i'd never go that long a road trip by myself but that is a really good game the atmosphere was terrifying that's creepy it it's a good scary game i i like these games and i'm gonna keep playing the next ones the uh there's two more left in this series um i yeah i love it i love these creepy atmosphere and this this ps2 style that's become really popular lately i i enjoy playing it a lot but if you like this content the other scary games i've played or any of the other series i've done for the channel 
um, you can like, comment, subscribe, or even suggest some other ones that y'all think I'd enjoy in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and take it easy. Till the next time. Bye!